Do you have absolutely no artistic ability? Do you like hunching over on the floor for hours at a time? Do you like reaching over your head and losing all feeling in every finger? I have the perfect project for you. I'm doing two things today that kind of make me nervous. One, I'm gonna paint this wall black, and two, I'm gonna put a mural on it. I have not done either of those things in any of my residences before, but this is my workshop and I can do whatever I want to do. And I've wanted to do this for a long time and I'm very excited about it, but I'm very, very, very nervous. Hopefully I don't screw it up. Welcome back folks in the do things that scare you. That's what we're doing today. But I'm actually incredibly excited about this because when I was planning this, I had a vision for the workspace, which you've seen most of, and the sitting space, which you've seen most of. But in the sitting space, I wanted it to be different and special, and I wanted it to be something that I'm a little too chicken to do in my own house. So why not try it out here where it's kind of low stakes and if it doesn't work out, it's not really a big deal because I am cheap, putting it lightly. I didn't just want to go to Lowe's and spend, you know, $35 a can on gallons of paint because I'm pretty sure that these walls are going to take at least two gallons. You know, dark paints, I think, just take more to cover everything. So I cheaped my way out of this. I went to our local Habitat for Humanity Restore, and if you're not familiar with those, it's almost like a thrift store for home improvement stuff. You know, people can donate their leftover wood and paint and all kinds of stuff. And I love it. It goes towards helping them build homes for families in need. So I have no problem dropping a bunch of money with them. So I went through their cans of donated paint and I just kind of picked some of the darkest shades I could find. I was really hoping for like a really, really dark blue teal, but I know I'm not gonna quite get there. I am fine with this being more on the charcoal side than anything else. So I did buy these three cans of paint. Two of them are pretty dark, one's almost a black. One was this like slaty blue, and then I bought a smaller jar of olive green. And I figured, you know what? I'm just gonna throw them all in the same bucket and see what color we come up with. I have been putting off and putting off and putting off actually starting to paint because I feel like it's gonna be a big undertaking, but we're jumping in. We're jumping in with both feet today. So we're going to clean out this area and go ahead and just start painting. Better now than later, I guess. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's clean out my space. don't really know what to do with this because I was gonna paint this whole thing, but I don't wanna move this because it's big. That'll be a problem for later, Katie, I think. Yeah. I think I am gonna miss how bright it is over here, but that's what they make lights for, I guess. All right, here we go. Oh, no, hello. Urgh. Urgh. Nailed it. Ah, look how cute my little computer holder is. I bought it for $3. You know it's a fancy paintbrush when it has Velcro. Okay, here we go. It'll be fine. Just do it. Oh, here we go. No takesies, backsies. Do I paint the baseboards? Or do I leave them white? If I paint the baseboards, I don't have to be careful. You know what, just paint the baseboards. When I was putting this stuff together, my great paint concoction. I did pick paints that had approximately the same finish. So I think this is all satins. I tried not to mix like high gloss with flat or anything like that. I did try to pick things kind of in the middle, but I have no idea what the actual finish is gonna look like. I also am not sure if I care because we're experimenting. Also, I finished all this drywall myself and it started to get really hot when I was getting towards the end of the finishing process. So I quit. So it's really bad. So maybe if I paint it this color, you really aren't gonna be able to notice how poorly finished all of the drywall is. Nobody is ever going to be hiring me to come finish 
their drywall for them. And that's okay. But we live in a world of good enough, and right now it is good enough. Okay, well, I mean, so far the coverage is pretty good. We're not taping a whole lot here because I don't want to, nor do I see the need to. One hour later. I think I love it. I'm pretty sure I do. It is quite a bit darker than white, of course. That's a really stupid thing to say, but I think it looks amazing. Okay, I'm very excited about this. I am going to just focus and get this painted, and then as this is drying, we'll talk about the actual mural part. So next time you see me, all of this will be painted. First coat is on, and I think it looks better than I thought it was going to. It actually kind of has this like blue hue to it, which is not surprising because of the entire gallon of blue that I dumped into it. While this dries, I wanna to talk to you about kind of the mural that I have in mind for this. You can't tell if it's snot or sweat, but I feel like my nose is dripping. The inspiration for this mural came from this picture on Pinterest. I loved the dark hue. I love the gold on the dark. I just thought it had really good dimension. I didn't really want a bunch of leaves because I kill every houseplant that I get. So that was not very authentic to me. I kind of had this idea of almost like an apothecary sort of motif. So jars and herbs, maybe some handwriting. I wanted to put a couple of like skulls in there, maybe some ravens or something. Just something that looked very, very busy, but also each section being a little bit different and I could modify sections even after I finished the whole thing. I could not find what I was looking for. The closest I came to was this wallpaper on Etsy, but I don't want a wallpaper. The temperature fluctuations out here are not yet controlled enough where I can trust the wallpaper is gonna stay on. And also I kind of wanted to just do the mural myself. Because I could not find what I was looking for, I actually decided to utilize AI to help design this mural. I bought myself a subscription to Mid Journey, and if you've never used Mid Journey before, it is neat. I just put in a bunch of keywords that I wanted. I think I told it that I wanted an apothecary with bottles and skulls and plant leaves or herbs. I can't exactly remember the wording that I use. But the way that Mid Journey works is that you put your prompt in and then you get four tiles and you kind of pick which one you want and you can have it refine that one until you're happy or you can just have it regenerate off the same prompt over and over again and you get little variances in everything. It didn't take me very long to settle on what I liked and ultimately I came up with this design and I loved it. Now it's gonna take some tweaking to get everything exactly the way that I want it, but I think I can do that as I go. So the plan for this is I am actually going to project this up onto the wall. I am not going to try and recreate this with my hands because that's not gonna happen. To get that gold metallic-y look, I went to Michael's and I picked up some gold metallic and some copper metallic because I want this to be maybe more of a like bronzy look. So I'm gonna mix these two together and just see what color I come up with. I also have a smaller jar of gold paint. It's not metallic, but it is gold. So I'm gonna play around with kind of the color formulation, I guess, and see if I can come up with something that feels right. This has to dry first and I have to put a second coat on and when it's time to start the mural, I'll be back. So I'll see you then. We are, for the most part, dry. I'm gonna start down here, because I figured I'm gonna make mistakes. I'd rather do it down here, where the chair's gonna cover it, than up there, where everybody will see it forever. I'm a little nervous, but it's gonna be real cool. Here we go. <laughs> I've done a couple of projected murals before, and one of the hardest parts is staying out of the way of the projector, but still being able to, like, paint. I don't even know where to start. And then the second hardest part 
is making sure the projector doesn't move until you have your section done. That is tough. Okay. Now I did mix in some of that like peachy wall paint that I had into these acrylics so that it would stick a little bit better. Right now it looks very, very peachy. Okay. I gotta come up with a plan for what happens if I go outside the lines. Maybe that plan is no plan. Also, I am very much hoping that this whole process covers up my poor drywalling skills. Okay, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now, but I'm gonna finish this plant up and then show you what it looks like when I've got this one done. Okay, I have one done. And if I sit in front of it by itself, it's fine. I think as I continue going, it's going to make more sense. But right now it looks very juvenile. I like the color. I do wish it was a little more metallic, but I can go over it if I need to. One done in about 10 minutes, everything else left to go. I have been working for about three hours. This is what I've gotten done. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it's not. <laughs> However, the more I do, the faster it is going. One of the big roadblocks, I guess, hurdles, is just positioning myself so I'm not in front of the projector. So I'm going to amend my goal rather than the whole back wall, if I can just get this wall here done. I think I'll be happy with that. I can always come in and do the other parts later. I do have some hooks and things that I wanna put up on the wall. So I think that other side will end up looking more decorated than it is. We're gonna just keep on trucking. I'm gonna try and get this panel done tonight so that I can get the upper one done tomorrow morning and we can see what it actually looks like. Whew. It's hard on the back. Welcome to day two. I am exhausted from yesterday. My shoulders are sore, my back hurts, and really I just sat on the floor for a few hours and painted. So feeling like a big old weenie this morning. However, I am very happy with the panel that I got done yesterday, but it took forever. Today I'm gonna try and get just the whole wall itself done. And really this corner is the most important one anyway. Today is gonna be getting the upper section done and this little like side near the window. If I never touch this again, I'll be happy with where I am. I have also picked up a white paint and a black paint. I like the tones that I got on this, but especially towards the end, I was really, I think my brain was looking for something else to go in with this. Holy crap. I love it. I absolutely love it. When it's done, it's gonna be great. But right now, it is so much. Knock this shit out.
Is it done? No. Does it look pretty good? Yeah. Will I probably continue to futz with it whenever I get bored? Yeah. This took me probably eight hours of work and I think I'm being generous. However, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I think that it turned out as good as I thought it was going to, if not maybe a little bit better. I'm a little sad that I didn't give myself enough time to do all of this over the weekend. For eight hours work, I think this looks pretty good. If this is a project you want to try yourself, and I think you should, especially if you've been wanting to put some sort of mural on your wall and you don't have the artistic inclination to do it yourself. Definitely use AI. Mid Journey was a great resource for this. And I think for what, maybe 10 bucks for a month, you can generate a bunch of different ideas until you get exactly what you're looking for. All of this is a compilation of, I think six different tiles that I created. It did take a little bit of time figuring out the paint flow off of the brush, getting used to it kind of clumping in some areas and then being really thin in others was a bit of a curve, I guess, but I got used to it. Also, I had to continue to remind myself not to judge it up close because really other than me, who is going to stand this close to it and inspect it, I had to make sure to step away and look at it as a whole so that I didn't get bogged down by the details. If you are a detail person, you can probably spend hours working on one little design to get the details the way you want them to be. There are some areas of this that I absolutely love. My little skull up here, I have two of them, but the one that kind of looks at you straight on, love him. Love him so much. I gave him a little gold tooth. And I really love some of the stippled flowers that I put on here. That's not really what the designs had, but I thought they were pretty cool. Son, hello. The other thing to remember about AI is that it doesn't do details very well. I have two birds over on this side that look like you drew a picture of a bird, but you really maybe only seen one once. So it's a, an approximation of a bird. But again, I kind of like that because it doesn't need to be super detailed and I can always go back in and add detail if I wanted to. But I mean, for a weekend project, this was actually pretty good. And I feel like I got a lot of stuff done. If you've been thinking about putting a mural somewhere in your house or in a studio or in your car, I don't know, you put murals wherever you wanna put murals, but you're worried about the artistic part of it, sign up for any of the AI image creators, grab yourself a projector from somewhere and give this a shot. If you like this video and you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button, make sure to give this video a like and I will see you guys next time, bye. One last piece of advice, invest in ibuprofen because my God, my shoulders hurt so much. <laughs>